come through here. Um, this is so actually in here. We have an autoclave, so a lot of my dental surgical equipment is not throwaway. We actually can just clean it with an ultrasound cleaner and then throw it in the autoclave. Mm -hmm. uh, these two machines is my QVC machine. I get my white blood cell count, my red blood cell count, and my platelets. Mm -hmm. Uh, this, these three machines, I get a lot of my electrolytes, my liver function tests. Um, this is another one as a lab test where I can get um, some other information. This is my heart monitor. So if I need to shock someone or just monitor the heart rate, what their cardiac rhythm is, get a blood pressure cuff, a uh, blood pressure reading, pick it up this. Mm -hmm. If I ever have to put someone on a ventilator and breathe for them, I've got two of these. So one always is a backup just in case this one breaks. Mm -hmm. uh, here's my main oxygen tank. I have several more in stores so if I ever go through this, but if I need to provide oxygen. If bleeding profusely, do you go to the station and say, okay, who has O oh, such blood? Right. Could somebody come and give blood to, say, Dr. McClintock? Yeah, so if you have some sort of major traumatic injury, I, I've already, every time someone new comes on station, I look through their chart and I determine what blood type they are, or, um, you know, an RH factor, so you know, positive or negative, and I have a list, as well as your testing, if you're tested positive for um, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, syphilis, and HIV. So I have all that stuff already ahead of time. If so if, let's say, you come in, I know your blood type, I can then go towards the people that maybe donate to you. I have all the medications and more of what I might need. Um, and since it takes a little while to get resupplied, uh, we have a lot of excess um, medications because if I run out of something, it will take me three to four months to get so resupplied. So if you went to a pharmacy back home, this is sort of the same... Or, or even more sophisticated, there, like what you'd find in a hospital pharmacy, for example. Yeah. I mean, there'd be a lot more choices there uh -huh. than we have here. Right. Um, but there's usually a few choices of everything, mm -hmm. several different options for antibiotics. Some stuff is here because for emergency situations, we'll probably never use. Let's mm -hmm. say if someone has a heart condition, has a cardiac arrest, which right. is cool. unlikely. So if I need a consult, let's say you had something wrong, or you're bleeding somewhere, and I need a surgeon to consult with me, what we can do is call the emergency line that hooks us up through re remote medical access, international, which eventually gets us to George Washington University.